Guys, making scenarios in Primavera P6 completely sucks. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's look at a project. Let's say I want to add a second crew, or maybe I want to change the way I'm starting. I don't want to start here, I want to start there. These things are next to impossible to achieve in a tool like Primavera P6. Let's dive into an example. This is a water main project where I am tunneling and I need to sink these shafts. I have three shafts and two tunnels between each of these shafts. Now let's say I wanted to look at my excavation crew. This is the shaft. This is the, the digging of shafts where I'm going to put the TBM in, in tunnel from one shaft to the next to the next. And I have to do three of these. Right now I go from S3 to S2 and then finish up at S1. And you can see I actually am over allocated, which means I need two crews to accomplish this. Some of these works overlap. What if I wanted to add a third crew? Now I'm not gonna do it because the steps are actually to me momentous. As I add a third crew, what happens? Well, all of my durations may change. So I actually have to get playing with duration types and I have to manually add that crew to the different areas. But also what happens here is the logic is going to change. As you can see, because I knew I was limited to crews, only two crews, I had to actually indi indicate where these things are allowed to overlap by using logic. So I'm kind of have some resource logic in there that's preventing me from making any of these changes. And now I have to go and figure out where that logic will change if I want to add a third crew. This is untenable. This is next to impossible. And this is just one simple crew. What if I wanted to double all of my resources? What if I wanted to add a second concrete pump for the work to progress faster? What if I added a second crane instead of just one crane? How would all of this project shift as a result of adding or removing these resources? Well, I don't think we can do it really without a whole crew of people working in P6 to achieve it. But I do want to show you a way we can do it with a tool that is groundbreaking. This is a tool called Alice, built by a company called Alice Technologies. And Plan Academy is building a partnership with Alice Technologies. Why? Because I think this tool is super cool and is something that we really desperately need in scheduling and planning. This tool allows us to create different scenarios and what they call it is optioneering. The ability to actually build 25 different schedules with a click, all of them different, including logic, including resourcing, to be able to answer and ask questions about how can this project be built in terms of sequence, in terms of cost, in terms of resources, before we sit down in P6 and program it all in. Actually, the best part is the output from Alice is a P6 schedule. Let me show you a little bit about how it works. The first step to working in Alice is actually to model your project. Now, there's a, a few steps to that, but I'm not gonna cover them in this video. What we're looking at though is, the other side of the model is the scenario screen where we can run scenarios and do optioneering. And as you can see, I've run a whole bunch of scenarios here. These are almost like jobs you submit to the scheduler and it comes back with the feedback. And we can see what kind of inputs we can provide to these jobs. If I expand this, you can see that I can tweak and change all of these inputs. The number of crews, even the crew rates, the calendars the crews are gonna to adhere to can go into a job. Equipment. How many equipment, how many materials, production rates that we can program into our model as well, milestones that we want to try to hit. All these things can go into these scenarios that we built. Now, look at this. These are the yellow scenarios and these three dots represent a schedule. Each dot is a schedule on this graph. And the schedule is, has a particular number of days. That's the total duration of the, to accomplish the work of the schedule. 
as well as the cost, the total cost to accomplish that work. Now let me open a couple up. I've got a couple opened here, but you can actually just click on one and analyze the solution and have a look at this schedule. This is a schedule that Alice built really quickly for us. Now this schedule, have a look at the tunneling and support. So in this schedule, I just have one TBM and we launch a TBM here, we TBM, we tunnel here for a good long number of days. And then when we're done, we drop the TBM into this other piece of the tunnel so you can see what that looks like. And that is, uh, that gives us these yellow dots. Now I also open these blue dots and if we have a look at that schedule, you can see it's shorter and that my TBM work is actually overlapping because I had infused that one with two TBMs. So we get two very different schedules that are produced and it's very quick to produce them here in Alice. This is the kind of optioneering that we can do. We can build a whole bunch of different schedules, different scenarios, different costs, and try to find the edge cases maybe that we didn't think about, or try to look at different scenarios that we maybe want to consider, but maybe it's too hard to actually program them in a tool like Primavera P6. So I'm really excited about Alice and as I mentioned, Plan Academy is working on partnering with them and soon we'll have a course available on how to use some of this stuff so that you can learn it because I think it's going to really change the way we do scheduling. So if you want more information about this, I'm going to leave a link below where you can subscribe to Plan Academy's newsletter. We'll be releasing information very soon about the course that is coming and how to get more involved with this cool technology and Plan Academy's work with Alice. Okay, so check it out. Make sure you click the link below, sign up for our newsletter, and I'll see you again in another video. Michael out.